Public health investigators also say two other cases are suspicious. Lab tests also found a basement sink used by the janitors was one source of the bacteria. Channel 7's East Bay Bureau Chief Marty Gonzalez is at the contaminated Social Security building with the latest. Marty? It takes several days for those tests to turn up positive or negative. That's why there's been such a delay in tying the two together. But health officials are confirming that they can, for the first time, connect the same strain of Legionnaire's disease that killed Rosalind Sheffield to the strain that was found in the basement of this building. For this outbreak, we've also cultured the, the specific bacterium that was isolated from the lady who died from, from a sink inside the basement. Um, so what we know is that the bacteria that caused disease is present in the building. So if the clustering wasn't enough to say that there was a problem in the building, we've now grown the specific bacterium. And there you can see a man in a neon green cap with the uh, respirator on. He is one of the many workers in the building. They have removed some of the windows for no other reason than ventilation. Uh, that building is sealed up and there's no ventilation inside the building. So those windows are the only way that the workers can get some fresh air. We don't know how long exactly the work is going to continue here at the building. It will probably go on at least another three to four weeks, we're told. In the meantime, some 1,200 employees from Social Security will be moving about eight miles south on the 880 freeway to Emeryville. Social Security employees huddled around their immediate supervisors to hear when they'd be back to work. Our job is set up, get back to work, and that's it. Come Thursday, an estimated 800 Social Security workers will move into temporary space at the Watergate Towers complex in Emeryville. It's a massive move. Social Security will occupy 13 floors in three buildings, a total of 110,000 square feet. For the next three days, computers, office furniture, and phones will be moved in. The furniture will be rented. It won't come from the contaminated Richmond office. We think that we can get a pretty good operation going by the time uh, the week is over and probably start up, uh, you know, at that 80 to 85 percent uh, goal uh, by next week. The move won't be cheap. Social Security is paying $25 a square foot. It adds up to $2,750,000 for the three-month lease. That's part of the reason for the high rent, the short lease. There's another 90 days optional on top of that. Social Security priorities in finding new office space included a building with room for several hundred employees, a facility near its Richmond office with freeway and BART access. The Watergate already offers shuttle service to MacArthur BART. That will be stepped up. The more carpools, the more people per car, the better off. Workers are already making plans for the commute. I've already made arrangements and we're uh, forming carpools. Doing the best we can right now. Now, the lease on their new uh, facility over in Emeryville runs a maximum of six months, but Social Security officials are quick to point out that if uh, they get this building cleaned in three weeks, they'll be back here in three weeks. Richard, back to you. Marty, we mentioned the, the sink as a potential cause or source of the bacteria. What does that happen now with the cooling towers? Are they still included in this equation? Uh, very much so. The cooling towers and the ventilation system remain the, uh, the best guess as to how this got from, uh, from the ponds into the building. And in fact, they have announced that they are going to install a brand new ventilation system. And it's a self-cleaning one, one that adds chemicals, and there's no need for, uh, for anybody to uh, get involved in it. It'll take care of itself. Thanks, Marty. Marty Gonzalez in Richmond.